Hi, my name is Anthony Jones of Robot Pencil, and this episode was brought to you by Discipline. You should be drawing right now. Now, with that being said, let's talk about motivation. So today's episode is going to be talking about how to stay motivated and to be motivated. And I think it's important that you learn how to become motivated um, rather than expect to be motivated. I think a lot of times people are expecting to be motivated. So when they get to their desk, they're like, oh, why am I not motivated? Why am I not drawing? Or I'm just on my phone right now. Like, what am I doing? Like, you might be on your phone as we speak on the couch or on in your bed or even on your toilet if you're on your toilet that's important business go ahead and finish what you're doing there but for whatever for whatever reason you're doing whatever you're doing uh, away from a plausible work station and so you need to kind of start thinking about what motivation actually means so let's go ahead and look it up okay so i just googled motivation and it should be somewhere around here for you guys to take a look at so let's go ahead and read the definition yeah the the reasons or reasons one has for acting or behaving in a particular way the general desire or willingness of someone to do something okay so let's think about that the reasons or reasons one has for acting or behaving in a particular way so that should be already obvious to you what that means what are your reasons what is the reason that you are acting or behaving in a particular way what is your motivation so right now when you're on the on the toilet your motivation is very clear but when you're on the couch what is your motivation what is the reason you're on the couch and you should ask yourself is it a good reason like are you sitting there because you've had a long day of work and you really need a time to unwind then um that's actually a pretty good reason uh, because you've already kind of put in some time and put in some effort into doing something, then maybe you should take this time off. So watching this video and you're in, in the sense of comfort is totally reasonable. But if the reason is you don't really have one, then your motivation isn't aligned with your action. If you don't have any real reason, of course, you can come up with reasons and you can come up with stuff right now. But before, was there any real purpose? And this is the heart of why a lot of people tend to not have an uh, easy time working on what they need to work on. And so if we look back at the definition here, the general desire or willingness of someone to do something, how willing are you to do the thing you want to do? Like, are you very willing? Do you feel like you want to get up and do something? If you just take a look at the definition of motivation you will find right away why you're not motivated because it's either unguided or undirected so why don't we get some good reasons i'm going to list some right here and this one hopefully my assistant my video editor will put it up here and make it nice and clear for you guys but the first one um the first one i would say first real good reason is something along the lines of moving forward with your career right you want to be able to push forward and actually build a portfolio so first motivation is that you need to build towards a portfolio and build a better or build better art and so that could be your very first motivation maybe another example of motivation second one could just be you just need to be drawing because it's very therapeutic. Maybe you just like to draw and maybe you like to design. Some of you don't. Some of you are like really hate it, uh, but you know you should do it. So the first one works for you, but the second reason might work for most other people, right? They don't necessarily want to be good artists. They don't necessarily care about, but they just want to feel productive maybe. Maybe they do other things in their life that don't make them feel productive. This might so be productive. And so... I think the second one could be just because you want to just you're motivated by feeling productive or feeling therapeutic you know and the third reason that I think is very valuable to kind of like uh, to be motivated to do something is it gives you purpose right even if the first two like maybe you don't really care about being productive or maybe you don't really care about building an art portfolio but you want to feel like every day there's something you have done not because you've done something well and you have been productive not because you're doing something towards building a portfolio but just because you say to yourself i am going to build an art or i'm going to draw every day 
because that's my lifestyle. I want to just draw every day, even if it's for five minutes, right? For instance, when I was learning how to become a programmer, I was programming every day, even if it was only like for 10 minutes. And it wasn't necessarily motivated by building a, a portfolio for programming. And it wasn't necessarily therapeutic or I didn't sometimes feel as productive, but I just did it anyway because I had a purpose. My purpose was to just program every day. And I didn't think about any other reason why. And this is one of my favorite reasons to do something. Very favorite motivation is because when you start to think about all the reasons why you shouldn't do it, um, then you start to kind of challenge the ability to even do it. So I really like the second definition more, the general desire or willingness. Like how willing am I to do these things and what are the motivations for it? So hopefully this makes sense to you guys. So now let's talk about what I like to do uh, in general. I like to go for walks, you know? I like to go for walks. It, it's very important to me. So you know what? Let's go for a walk. I think it's important whenever you guys are doing stuff to stay motivated, you should always remember the motive. Remember the, the reason why you're doing it. And as I was saying earlier, there's many things you can do to kind of remind yourself. And one of the things I like to do is just to go for a walk. Um, sometimes I do walks on a treadmill when I'm working out and I just think about stuff or I'll lay down in my bed. But, you know, kind of organizing my thoughts, remind myself the purposes of why I'm doing certain things and challenges to help me drive myself to do better work. And see, like right now, I was actually looking for a mic so I can like uh, record better audio, but I forgot my mic or I left it somewhere. I couldn't find it, and time is clicking or ticking away. So I was like, well, what's the reason why I'm doing this video in the first place? Well, to help inspire people, encourage people to do stuff that is going to, you know, get them better careers or put them on their path to a better art, life, relationship. And so, uh, that motivation is why I'm doing it right now. Let's go back and talk more about motivation uh, in, indoors with better audio. <laughs> you know, what I like about walking, and like I was saying about when I was walking, is that I didn't necessarily want to do it at the moment, or I had like reasons why I should have like a mic ready or whatever, but I was like, you know, I should just do it. Because I like to do it. It gives me... A purpose I like to feel alive and walking reminds me of that especially it was a little hot today I was sweating you know and when you walk around and you start to talk and you walk and you do these things you allow your mind to kind of empty a bit too and it allows you to think of reasons why you should be doing stuff right you're not on your phone you're not watching a movie or TV show you're just allowing your brain to potentially give you some motives for your life like you know maybe I should be doing this and you think about it see the problem with today the reason why motivation is really hard to find is that we're constantly distracted we're constantly exposed to new information that changes and rearranges our thoughts and it doesn't give us any real sense of purpose or motivation at the time and so I think after you guys are done watching this video you guys should you guys should take a second to to just draw why? Because maybe your motivation is driven by what AJ just said, and I just said you should draw. And so you say, oh, okay, you know, I'm just going to draw. In fact, I encourage anybody and everybody who is drawing right or watching this video right now to draw or paint or do something artistic while you're listening to me talk. I have long live streams that are like one to two hours long. Feel free to watch them. Take your time and just feel like you're just working on moving towards something even if there's no real larger purpose. All right, so let's talk about some practical stuff that you can do, okay? So on my screen is Pinterest. Now, I like to use Pinterest a lot because it's really inspirational, but I already put a, out a video about inspiration. You should check that one out. But right here, it also gives me a motive because unlike ArtStation, which if you go here and you'll find a lot of really great artwork, um, and this is not a knock to ArtStation, this is what ArtStation's good at, which is my comment right now, which is that 
it's full of content that is very familiar. There's a lot of stuff here that I'm constantly exposed to, so I'm not necessarily gonna be uh, motivated to do something different. I might be inspired, which is like I talked about in the video, is a great tool to kind of get things going, but, but motivation, right? I don't have a motive, meaning that I don't have some sort of new direction. So if I go to Pinterest, what's great about Pinterest, especially mine, I click on and like a bunch of series of different images. And so sometimes they'll send me into a whirlwind of content that I might have not expected. And what I like about Pinterest versus ArtStation is that let's say I click on something like this, it will then lead me to a whole new world of interesting and fascinating topics that I never thought about. And from here, my motivations start to come out, right? I start to think to myself, like, what's the reason for me looking at this? And what's the thing that I can do from the, with this? Like, what can I study? And so if you go here into my Pinterest, you'll see a bunch of different great examples of stuff. But, you know, I started collecting epic paintings and there are very specific kinds in here that are driven by different motives. <coughs> this is a painting I believe was done by Phil Hale. And so I'm looking at this and I'm thinking to myself, I want to paint a little bit more direct shadows and texture. I don't do this enough. I should do it more. So my motivation is clear. I need to practice this. So then I start to gather all of the reference that I, that I need. And then I open up a PSD file and just start going, start practicing this thing. See, like I said, I'm mostly driven by purpose. My purpose is to just do art often as I possibly can. Not because I'm gonna build a portfolio, not because it's therapeutic, because there are times where I don't feel like drawing, but I just do it anyway, because I'm driven by this larger purpose. Then I do it. I know that as a consequence of this action, that I will get good and I will build a habit. And that's why I drive a lot of my motivations around having a purpose versus having a goal, you know? and. To me, the difference is clear. A purpose is more of a lifestyle. A goal is something that you can achieve and then move on to the next goal, right? A goal could, a good example of this could be working for Blizzard is a goal, but becoming a great artist, when will that, when will you know, you know? Or, I'm sorry, a better example would be to draw every day. That has no goal to, to it other than the daily goal, but it's not to get better art. It's not to build a portfolio. It's not to show it to other people. It's just to do it for the sake of doing it. And I think if you guys start to redefine your purposes and your 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 genuine uh, perspective of how to think about motivation, you will do better. And I highly recommend Pinterest over other art websites because it can drive you in different ways, and you'll you'll be surprised of how you would be inspired that then drives motivation. But whatever gets you motivated, right? I like to go for walks, I like to lay down, I like to just talk to friends, I like to experience world, like world experiences are always fun. Whatever you can do to stay motivated. Essentially all I'm trying to get across is that, again, with inspiration, uh, motivation is one of those things that if you just kind of define a little bit more what it means to you, then you can start to, to react differently and have a different relationship with that term. I appreciate you guys for listening in and watching my YouTube videos. With that being said, see you guys later and uh, stay disciplined. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to watch more in the future. If you like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you like this content, you can go to my website, robotpencil.net, where you can find mentorships, tutorials, and a Patreon to get more exclusive content. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in my next videos.